Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Twin States News. I'm Nicole Menner. Nick Fitzgerald went from having the worst game of his career against LSU to quite possibly his best game after the Bulldogs upset Texas A&M. And that was largely in part due to the revival of the passing game. Fitz completed 14 of 22 passes and talked about the game plan entering the matchup. You know, obviously, I don't think we ran the ball as much as, as, much as we did. You know, we, we decided that as an offense and, and, and Coach Moore had decided that we were going to throw the ball. Uh, be, be a lot more balanced throwing and running. Uh, he was going to be aggressive play calling and, and you know, it was, it was going to work or it wasn't. And uh, uh, we went out there and just, I think we actually, I think throwing the ball to the perimeter, you know, a lot of off coverage on the, uh, from the corners uh, to number one receiver to the field. So we really took advantage of just access to the field, taking uh, the hitches, the, the comebacks to the field, and then uh, getting them on a couple double moves. You, you don't think about the pass. You don't, you don't think about anything that happened last game or what's going to happen next game. You just focus on you know, what you're doing in the moment. And I think we had a really good plan, and we just went out there and executed it. Well, meanwhile, the college football playoff rankings were released on Tuesday, and MSU comes in at number 18, joining six other SEC squads on the list. Alabama, top ranked, no surprise there. LSU, number three, Georgia, number six, Kentucky, number nine, Florida, 11, and Texas A&M was ranked at 20th. And here's some more numbers for you. With a 5-3 and three record, State is the highest ranked three-loss team in the poll. Those three losses came from teams ranked in the top 11, with their only victory in the top 25 being Texas A&M. Clemson, Notre Dame, and Michigan were also in the top five, along with Bama and LSU. Well, in the midst of those college playoff rankings being released, the Ole Miss football program is still waiting on news for their NCAA appeal, which will determine whether or not the team will gain bowl eligibility. The Rebels are just one win away from eligibility, but if the ban is upheld, their season will come to an end on November 22nd. Either way, though, Coach Matt Luke is approaching things the same way. Well, we got 24 days left in our season. That's the way that we're, we're preparing and, and have. And as far as us, our motivation is playing for each other and, and just building this program and, and, and taking pride in the fact that, you know, all, through all this stuff, you were supposed to be not very good last year and you won six games. And the same thing this year, and you're five and three after eight games. So just taking the pride and, hey, we're, we're, we're still here. We're not going anywhere. And I think that having that pride and, 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 the, and the guys playing for each other and fighting through adversity, to me, that, that, that's very, very special. And, 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 again, I think a lot of pride in the program, a lot of pride in our guys playing for each other. Well, the Ole Miss Rebels taking on Arkansas in the SEC tournament Tuesday night for their quarterfinal match, but a bad start would be too much for those Rebs to overcome. Arkansas scored three goals within the first seven minutes, and Ole Miss couldn't get anything else going as they fell four to nothing. It was their widest margin of the season, so the Rebels will now await their fate for the NCAA tournament, with that selection show being set for November 5th. And according to multiple reports released today, Saints rookie defensive end Marcus Davenport dealing with a toe injury fresh off his two-sack game Sunday against the Vikings. The report also said that he's expected to miss about one month. So far this season, he's recorded four sacks and took a season-high 37 snaps against Minnesota with the Rams coming up next week, of course. It means that the Saints will rely on 2017 third-round pick Troy Hendrickson and even Alex Okafor. So like I said, they're still waiting to see exactly how long he'll be out. Mm -hmm. He got testing done today, but it doesn't right. look too good. All right, stay tuned, and I hope you do as well. We'll be right back.